the Xbox has grown beyond video games. And Katie Barrett, Special K herself, joins us from Washington, D.C. She's going to explain all about this. You've been watching movies <laughs> while, yes. while, while pretending to work. No, actually, this has been your work, to be fair. It you, has been my work. I've right. been watching uh, HBO series at home on my TV. But, uh, yes, yeah, so the whole idea here is if you've had a, a child in your family or a spouse who uses the Xbox, for gaming and you've had to put up with this big console under your TV for years. The Xbox has been around for over 10 years. Well, now you can get something out of it too. So Microsoft has introduced over 20 new apps based on the idea of entertainment through video clips or sports statistics or music. And they want you to use the Xbox in a different way. And they now say that a majority of people using Xbox Live are using it for these entertainment apps rather than gaming, which is really interesting. Katie, I have to ask you, I mean, I'm one of those people who has seen that Xbox sitting there and <laughs> it just totally overwhelms me. I just think of it as a video game thing and I don't want to touch it. I mean, can you give me any tips on why I would want to touch it and how I should start to play with it? Well, Shandy, it is ugly, right? It's this big <laughs> box, and compared to competitors like Roku, which is at this tiny palm-sized box, or the Apple TV, which is so tiny that you could just hide it behind the TV, you won't even know it's there. Uh, this is a big box, and that's one of the biggest complaints I had in my review. You still have to put up with this console, and a lot of people want Microsoft to come out with a, a lighter version of the Xbox for the purpose of gaming. So, But for people who do have this console, uh, they've really made these apps user-friendly. So they have huge icons, so you can sit back on your couch and see all sorts of icons representing the different apps like HBO Go and uh, Hulu Plus, Netflix, Frackle, Last.fm, all sorts of fun apps to interact with. And they float across your screen and you can select them. And, uh, and it, I, I really enjoyed the experience uh, as far as using it goes. It was very simple to learn. And there's a really quick way to get to your apps from the home screen of the Xbox. It's called Quick Play. And it instantly pulls up the last apps that you've used. So if Say a kid in your family or uh, you know your boyfriend uses his Xbox a lot for gaming, whatever the case might be. If they were using it for games, you come and want to use it for your entertainment purposes like videos and music, you could go to that quick play spot and find your last apps that you used, which made it really simple. Yeah, the other big question I had is, we were just talking to Drew Dowell about uh, Microsoft being behind in the smartphone game. You're saying that you know Microsoft is now sort of coming ahead and starting to follow in the footsteps of Apple and some of these other guys. How does it compare? Are they there yet, or is Microsoft just still really far behind? I mean, if you had to choose, what would be your first choice? Well, it's kind of like you're not going to necessarily go out and buy an Xbox just for these entertainment apps today. I think if they created a smaller box that was a lighter version of the Xbox, you might consider doing that. But right now, when you buy an Xbox, you're not only getting all these entertainment apps, but you're also getting the games, like uh, Dance Dance Revolution. You could use the Kinect and, and play that game. Um, the Kinect also allows you to um, use gestures or voice to interact with your TV, so a lot of people like it for that. But, um, you know, it is still a gaming console and really thought of that way, so it is such a heavier duty thing than the Apple TV, but people have shown that they like just the idea of a small box plugging right into your TV and getting you the content that you need without this gigantic console. So, I mean, I think there's a real appeal to a smaller device.